this episode, everybody. So what I want to do here is I just want a bit more support from here. Now there's no, no science in this. <laughs> So with Samuel's help today, I was able to get that bulkhead in. So what I want to do here is, this is the framework for the V-Birth, and I just want to get a bit of more, a bit more support from here, on a slight angle to the middle of that being there. I think that'll be uh, prudent, just to provide a bit more support underneath that ply even though in, I'm sure it would actually be I feel sure it would be fine but I want to do everything super strong so that I never have to come back and worry about things so what I've done is I've just chopped up a bit of uh, the rosewood here and I'll set up the camera and we'll turn that into two little beams which will go in between there So this is what I was on about. I will notch those into the other beams there and um, they'll sit down nicely. And that will just provide a bit more stiffness underneath, underneath that pie. Bit of maintenance here. So uh, the chisel, my chisels are all uh, been a long time since they were given a bit of a sharpen and uh, because the timber work is starting to ramp up now. Um, I need sharp chisels. So um, got my grinding stone here. I'll just give that a clean. It's been sitting in my box uh, for some time. Uh, gathering dust. <laughs> just give that a clean with some acetone.
this stone's got um, two surfaces, one finer than the other, so um, which is handy. I generally hold my breath when I'm um, using acetone like I'm doing now and get rid of the rags. Just need, need a wee bit of oil on there. That is razor sharp. Three more to go. So there's my two little beams that I'm adding to the uh, bed frame. They've come up nice. I reckon we give it a go, Samuel. What do you reckon? Yeah. As had already been shown in a prior episode, I had already been working on the main bulkhead between the V-berth and saloon. And so when I had some good help, I was able to move this largest of all bulkheads inside of Mistress. Now there's no, no science in this. <laughs> Is it going all right? Because I'm not looking. You're in. So with Samuel's help today, I was able to get that bulkhead in. And as you probably heard me ranting in the earlier video, uh, that was and is the largest piece of ply that needs to come down below here. And it went really smooth, actually. It went, as I said to Samuel, probably four times easier than I thought it was going to. So very, very pleased with that. It's the full width of 2.4 meters wide. So as you can see, there's, there's a space on the end here, which needs to be filled in. And of course, a piece that needs to go into the bottom. And there was no way around that because as I say, that's a full sheet 2400 wide so now i'm going to get busy um, making those other pieces and then once i've fitted the other two parts for that main bulkhead i'll be able to paint everything and finally fit it so just a bit more with regards to that bulkhead i've uh, actually played with it more and um, got it a bit higher which is what I wanted. Um, it has worked out really well. There's one casualty which is I've ended up with a line of holes which are now redundant and that might seem fatal in terms of aesthetics but actually those two there are above the doorway and they'll be covered by the solid rosewood lining um, door jam and then those other two uh, I need to have the official boat number somewhere and so those two sorry and so yeah I've decided that that is a good place for that anyway for the um, compulsory posting the official number of the boat 
So I can put that over those two and I sort of was going to put it there anyway, but now I have a better reason to, to cover those redundant holes up. So it's worked out super well. I'm pretty damn pleased with it. In next week's episode, I get the other two parts for the main cabin bulkhead made up and more.